Hello and welcome to Lisa's Painting Parties. I am Lisa, your host for this uh, fun painting event. Um, we are going to be doing um, a beginner's level acrylic painting. Um, I'll walk you through it step by step. So once again, um, I do not have um, a reference image specifically completed for it. So I'm going to be creating it live with you as we go through it. Um, so um, you will obviously be able to see the image prior, so you can take a look and see if that's the one you want to do once we're done. But as of right now, I do not know how it's going to turn out. <laughs> However, I've seen a couple of really um, inspirational um, ideas and paintings and different type of art that kind of has this like um, pretty much like a really pretty bright sky. And then it has like someone kind of standing or floating or like on a ladder or something and then they're like pulling it's almost like they're pulling that sky behind it it's like dark so it's like almost like a, a play on like you know being able to pull the sky and then there's like a nighttime sky behind it or like a daytime or whatever like a flip but kind of um unwrapping the universe essentially um i thought that would be a really fun one to do today so what that's going to consist of um my idea is we're going to have a nice big sky. There might be some other, I don't know if I'm going to put some trees or other elements. I'm not sure yet. We'll feel it out and see how we're doing. I'd like it to be really colorful, um, I think. I'm not sure if I want to reveal a colorful um, background. Or if I want to reveal like stars and space and nighttime. That's what I'm still like thinking about right now. Um, I think I'm going to do it where it's predominantly bright and colorful. And then it reveals a bit of like the dark, like the night. I think that's how I'm going to do it. Um, yes. Yeah, so that's what we're going to start off with. So I'm going to do a nice colorful background sky. So I'll walk you through what that looks like. I want to have some clouds in the sky. It'll look really fun. And then after we do that, I'll walk you through step by step how to then do the secondary image and like how we can make that layer look like. So it looks like it's kind of like peeling back almost like a paper folding. We'll do that. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll have fun with it. So feel free to make it your own. If you'd like to change things up, um, change the way it is, feel free to do so. Um, you're more than welcome to. The paint um, that we're going to use is acrylic paint. So I have um, this one, which is Flow Acrylic from Artist Loft. That's the one I use primarily. And all of the colors are basically just whatever the color's name is. So I have yellow, red, blue, and so forth, white and black. I also, at times, will use Deco Art Crafters Acrylic, and that I got from the Dollarama. And this one drives like a matte finish. The other one drives with, drives with a bit of shine to it. So I kind of prefer that a bit more. Um, but essentially anything that you get, if you're starting off, you can grab it from the Dollarama Cheap Paints and you can be able to create this with me. If you have some fancier paints that will work nicer, your painting will um, come out even better, I'm sure, because those paints just look just different and nice. Um, I also have um, paint uh, water for my paint ready to go. I have my paint palette. Um, so I can put the paints on and I always suggest to have at least three variety of sizes and brushes. So like a large one for coverage, a fine tip and a medium brush. So as long as you have three or more sizes that at least give you some variety. So you can have one for a lot of coverage, one for detail and one for like a medium in between. Go for it. Also some paper towel. So I'll walk you through how and when I use different things um, just so you can um, get my techniques as I go through it. Um, but you are more than welcome to do whatever you enjoy doing. Um, with your paint brushes, make sure that um, you don't let the acrylic paint dry on the paint brushes. If you don't have time to clean the brushes right away, just make sure they stay either in water until you're able to clean them um, or uh, put them in like a plastic wrap and like make sure there's no air so it just stays moist until you have time to clean them. Um, that's really important. Once the acrylic dries on the paint brushes, it's, it's not fun to have to deal with it. So I would strongly suggest not to do that. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to move this over so you can see my canvas more specifically. A beautiful, beautiful. Okay, awesome. And so I want to really, you know, I'm going to move my coffee actually. The last time I did this, I absolutely got paint in there and it made me really sad. I guess my water is not a big deal because anyways, I'm with that too. Just keep drinks together, you know? 
All right, so let's paint a really pretty, nice, beautiful sky. I'm thinking of doing, um, I want to do that part first. So let's do that. Let's, I want to do like pinks and yellows and oranges and maybe some purples coming out. So I'm going to have quite a bit of white first. I'm going to use white quite a bit to help blend. I want to pop some yellow on my palette. I'll show you um, the palette in a moment so you can see. Okay, I'm going to get some red. Oh. Okay. And a little bit of blue because I will want to do some purple. And no black just yet. So here's kind of the quantities that I have on there. So quite a bit of white, a little bit of blue, red, and yellow to start. And I want to start off by getting my large brush gonna it's a little dirty because I had left it in water and I had not cleaned it off so I just want to make sure we're not gonna have weirdness happening okay and I'm gonna get some white on my brush and a little bit of red and I'm just going to start putting little splotches on the canvas and then get my white to go on top of those splotches I guess I didn't really have to go in this corner. I'm not going to, that, that's, that's where we're going to have the dark flip happening on the page. So I don't need to put much paint as I continue putting more paint in. Hilarious. Okay. I am going to try to paint the um, sides as I go. So right now I'm just going back and forth with white little drops of, or little streaks of red. And I want it to look a little streaky and mismatchy. I think that makes it look really good. I'm just doing the sides, like I said, as I go. Everything, when it's really wet, it makes it really easy to blend. And if you're able to do this um, fairly quickly, the blend is a lot easier because then the paint doesn't dry. Once the paint starts to dry, um, it, you can't blend it. So you need to blend as your paint is still wet. So you'll see me moving fairly quickly in this process. And basically what I'm aiming to do is I'm just trying to cover the canvas. So I'm putting strokes of red and then I'm going on top with white. The more you, you'll notice that I'm going often and grabbing more paint on my brush. So the longer you stay and go over the paint, the more you're going to lose the individual little streaky colors. You're going to have more of a blend happening, which is fine um, if that's what you're going for. But for me, I like to have it, this kind of almost gives me that cloudy, wispy sky feel um, without doing a heck of a lot of work, right? You do kind of have to let go a little bit and just put the paint on without thinking too much. And I want to get more white now. So I got like big dollops of it. And back and forth. And as you can see, like, you know, some of the areas stay fairly light and some get a little bit darker and I just want to get a nice background happening and then we're going to play with some other colors on top. I anticipate this painting to be a fairly quick one. Um, I don't think it's going, it's as long as, again, it depends on how comfortable you are, which is kind of going with it. I know that's hard to like let go of control and not think. And that's what I encourage you to do. Don't be concerned with how you think it should turn out. Just go with it. Especially when you're just starting out. Um, I know a lot of us have tendencies to like want things to be perfect right away. 
as much as we like, you know, kind of don't really want to admit it, a lot of us have those tendencies. So what I challenge you to do is to let go of that and just feel into like your kindergarten self and just have fun and just play. I'm just doing the bottoms and the sides of my painting as I go in the same way. Like I'm just dipping my brush in red and then white. And then by doing that, it's kind of mixing on its own. And then I'm just going on the front of the canvas to clean up. And yes, obviously I've done this a lot. So if you're like, whoa, she makes it look so easy. There's been a lot of practice involved there, but you can get there too, just with more practice, you know? Okay, so we have a very pretty streaky canvas and I'm okay we don't care about that section right now because we're going to make that the dark area where it's going to like flip down and fold down so we're good um noticing a bit of lines and I don't like that so I'll just put a little bit of white so when I did the side of the canvas I could clearly see like the line going down and I was like mm -mm, I don't like that so I just put some more a little bit of white there okay so now I want to get maybe some yellow. Let's play with some yellow and see how we want to do this. I'm just, I think I'm just going to put some here in the middle and I'm just going to bring this, these streakies up and down. And then I'm going to use some white to just blend it out a little bit more. And I'm using my big brush kind of like on its edge. Okay. And I think let's have this a little bit come down to. Okay, let's get some more red and yellow down here. Get some more orangey values happening. Well, a little bit more red, I think. I'll get some more yellow. I think I want to go a little bit purple and put a little bit of blue down here. I need some more red. It's not blending down here anymore because it's not wet down here anymore, right? Oh, shoot. I'm getting paint all over my shirt. That's why you should always wear an apron or clothes. You don't care about getting wet because your acrylic paint is not going to come off once it dries. <laughs> so I might have to stop for a moment and take care of that. Yeah, I like that. That's kind of like a nice, softer. Yeah, that's really pretty. All right. Let's. All right. And so I did just quickly change because I wanted to make sure my shirt wasn't get ruined. <laughs> I was a little concerned about it. All right. Um, so this did get a little bit drier. It dries really quickly in this room. So that's a little, little bit annoying, but that's okay. Um, I think, yeah, I still want to do a little bit more with my big brush. I think, I think so. I don't know if I want to put in clouds in. Maybe I do. I want to look at it for a second and see if I like. Yeah, I kind of think I want to just put some more stuff happening here to kind of fix that up a little bit. 
So let's go back and get some white. Okay, I'm going to pop some red. Everything is dry now. So you can see like it's not blending the way it did before. So you kind of have to almost like redo it. But now that you're doing your second coat on top, essentially, it's kind of nice because now you don't have the canvas sticking out. You don't have to worry about covering. Now you have a nice base that you can just create the values that you want. I like to blend everything and do everything on the actual canvas. I don't like to pre-mix paint. I find that every time I do, it drives me a little bit crazy because I, I find that once I mix it and if I need more of it, like I can never get it. And so then I decide to do it like the harder way, which is then just <laughs> do everything on the canvas and like just go with the flow and see what happens. And white just is so great because it helps like give this like blend between layers so naturally. I don't even know. Sometimes you can use other colors too, of course, but I really like the white for it. Um, I do think I want to pop like a little bit of yellow in here. Just going to play with color a little bit. Gonna put a little bit more white. You can, again, do it however your heart desires. Every time, if I was going to redo this painting, it would be different each time. And that's the way I would want it to be. I wouldn't, if I want to do something and make it exactly the same, then I would just, like, take a picture of it, you know? I want it always to be the mood and the feeling that I'm experiencing in that moment. And the way things work in that moment. I want it to be free. Okay. Do you think I want this to come down a little bit more on this side here? I think, you know what? I actually don't know if I like that now that I looked at it. I don't know. Maybe I do want to keep it a little bit more, like not as yellowy up here. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think I like that I went back to that red. I want to tone down that one there, I think. Okay, and I think I want... A little bit more yellow here. So really, you can look at your painting and decide where you'd want a bit more or less of different colors and then add them in and then keep going until you feel like you are content with the way it is looking. And then we're going to add some clouds in a few moments. Yeah, that's pretty. It almost looks kind of watery and like a sunset. Yeah, I'm, I'm digging this quite a bit. Okay, cool. So I'm going to just um, put that large brush in water for now. And I'm going to grab my medium brush. Um, and I think this is the one I'm going to get. So this is a number. This is zero. Um, and it's like kind of a flat brush been used a bit so it's it's not like as flat as I would like and it's also dry right now but um, I think I want to use this for my clouds and start playing with them so let's start with a plain old white in that brush so I'm just gonna dab and put some paint on both sides of that brush and we can start wherever wherever your heart desires maybe right here and I'm just gonna dab 
and then maybe come out a bit. And remember, clouds are kind of wonky, right? So I'm just going to kind of dab like that. I'm going to get a little bit more white. And then I'm going to just create a bit of a line just under. And then just fill in any of the gaps just by dabbing. But I want it to be pretty straight. I want to have a straight line underneath it. That's kind of what I, that's how I like to do my clouds. They don't have to. Some clouds get a bit funkier and wobbly and it works out. I kind of like them. I like, I do like them like this. So I'm going to put another one, maybe like here. Maybe I'll have this one really kind of small. Maybe this one will come out lower. Maybe I'll make that one a little bit lower. Let's make this a little, should go down there like that. I'm still going to have a little bit of feeling like that. But there you go. There's another little one. Okay. I'm going to do a bigger one here. Okay. So I'm just dragging it a little bit just to create a little bit of wispiness, but maybe this will come down to a little jagged ear. Okay, so we got that guy here. Yeah. I, I like the actual tip of the brush is a little better to get me the the lines that I want, which is why you'll see me flipping the brush up and down to get that. All right, let's do some more. There's another one here. And let's do a little bit of that wispy kind of line, but I just want to like mess it up a little bit. Yeah, there you go. That's cute. Okay, and I think um, maybe we'll do one that's kind of like off our canvas here. We have a little bit of a larger one. Maybe like in the corner, kind of larger. And to the side as well, obviously. Awesome. Okay, cool. I like that so far. Okay. I want to do some little wispies, but that particular medium brush isn't going to give me the um uh the line that I want so I'm going to just move to another one that has a bit more control over it and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a few like lines some a little bit thinner than others just to kind of feel like these clouds are it's like little wisps happening.
And sometimes they're like in little groupings. Um, I don't want to keep bringing the clouds down. Yeah, I think I do. Okay, let's do some more. Now what we can do is we can also take some other colors and play with other colors in the clouds. Because sometimes the clouds reflect different colors that are going on in the sky. Maybe reflect isn't the right word, but we're getting different color clouds is really what I'm getting at. So we're going to take the colors that are in our sky and we're going to play with that a little bit. Um, so let's see. Let's go with, maybe we'll do some yellow to start and then we'll layer some other colors on top and see how it turns out. So let's start with yellow and we're going to do the same technique. So I'm going to get yellow and then I'm just going to dab. Okay, and then I'm just going to drag across. And I'll just dab a little bit more. I think here I want to make another one, like in front of that last one. Yes, I do. Okay. I feel like my lines are a little bit off. I'm sitting on a weird angle and I'm not getting good uh, lines here. Okay, I'm going to do an orange one too, I think. Here, I'm going to put it like that. Yeah, that one looks a little bit better. It almost looks like the Care Bear lands in the sky, you know, when you have uh, these different colored ones. Um, I don't know if I want to change one of these, make it a little bit darker. I think I do. Let's make this one into an orangey color. And I'll make this one in front even a little bit more much more like mountains in the sky okay I just want to bring this peak down a little bit And a little darker. Okay. a little bit puffier. All right. Um, I think we need some more yellow. I don't know about the yellow one, actually. I might put a bit of white into it, I think, because I feel like, I don't know if I like it just so yellow. I think a little bit Okay. I do like it a little better. Okay. I think we want to do a pink one too. So let's do like some white and red and make pink. Ooh, can't really see it very well at all. 
Okay, that's fine. We'll put it on and then we'll decide how we want to. some white and then just go on top and do like another one on top of it. And get another one. Let's add a few more of these like little lines. I think I'm going to do like another one here. And this one will kind of go off here on the side. And maybe be a little bigger. So really you can do like as many or as few as you so desire. Like I said, it can always be different depending on what your mood is when you do it. It almost looks like tops of mountains. I, I kind of like that vibe. It's kind of neat. Um, I think I want to do another like yellowy one, maybe more. It's almost like with denser clouds down here. There's more happening and I more I'm layering, the more I'm liking it. Yeah, I like that a lot. That looks good. Okay, I think I'm going to do another one that's yellowy here. Hmm. Okay, and then maybe another orangey one here, orangey red. Okay, I kind of want to do some purpley one. This pink one's kind of sticking out a little bit. Well, I don't know what's sticking out. I can't really notice it that much, but when I look at it from here, it feels weird. So I don't know if I'm going to keep that one, but I am going to do a purpley one right now. Okay. 
Another one here, maybe. Click another little thing here. And I said I was going to maybe do like land or something, but I think I will just keep it as clouds in this region. cute there's like lots going on here I'm digging it okay cool cool all right I feel like I need something that's going off the page on this side maybe we'll do another one that's like ready orangey I think I need one that's kind of coming off I think that's good. Let me just take a look to see because I still feel like they're all sliding down <laughs> in a way. A lot of paintings are at weird angles. Okay, cool. Got lots of cool clouds going on. I like it. I like it. All right, so next up. Um, okay, so next up we're going to put in our dark zone. Um, I think I do want it to be a very, a very, a very dark, like black, but blue, black, blue, purple. Um, I think I'm going to put in kind of more black and then I will add more other colors to it as I go. Get some black paint on my palette. Okay, and then I think I'd want to use, just to get like the um, line of where I want it to go, I mean, hmm. yeah, so I'm going to get my black paint, and so I want this to feel like it folding, so I'm looking at kind of a reference of like folding, and it would kind of come down and out I think like that is that big enough I think so I think it is okay so now let's get our bigger brush let's fill it in going gently because I don't want to like mess up this line. Now I want to grab blue, start putting the blue in here. And black takes over like very quickly, so you just got to be cautious about that. So I'm to put a little bit of this black. Let's see how much it's already like. Now I've only been using blue. I haven't cleaned my brush. That is true. But see how like the black 
um, overpowers um, the other color quite significantly. So you just got to be um, aware of that when you're adding another color if you want to do a bit of a gradient in here, which I do. So I want to have a little bit of blue kind of popping. Okay. Ooh, it looks very, very nice. All right. I want to put a little bit of red to see if I can get a little bit of purple vibes happening in here. And to tie it in, because we have purple in our um, color, bright color scene. And I would like to have one color that's on, on both. And I think adding a little bit of red into here will help me achieve that. Yeah, I think it already has a nice tone. Okay, so I'm just going to wipe off those darker colors from my brush. And I'm just going to go back and get my bright, bright blue and stick it more there. I do want this... We want to have a brighter in the corner there. Nice. Okay. Awesome. That's very pretty. Awesome. Possum. Okay. So in this section, what do we want? So I think I would like in the inspiration image I was looking at, it had like a moon, like a full moon. And I don't think I want to do that. Um, I think I want to change that up. I might just do like maybe a crescent moon or something like that to have like a night sky. Mm. I'm not sure exactly. I definitely want stars. I know that for sure. Um, and I think I'd like to maybe splatter the stars on now. I think. Unless I want to do any more color play. I don't think I do. I think I feel pretty good with the way that looks. Yes, I do. Okay. So let's grab a large brush. No, actually I have this brush. This one might be good to use. Okay. Oh, I need more white paint though. That's for sure. If you also have like sparkle paint or sparkles, you can always add that too. And that would look really cool. I think that would look really neat for this kind of reveal, you know, Oh, well, we got some shooting stars going on in my sky. Pretty neat, eh? So I've managed to keep it in that one area, which is what I wanted to do. Fantastico. And now I'm going to put in, I think I'm going to put the moon in. You know what? I don't think I'm going to put a moon in just yet. I think we're going to leave it. I want to put in some other elements and I will go back to that one afterwards. I think that's what we're going to do. Okay. So um, we want this to be like it's coming in um, and we're like grabbing it. Um, so let's do that. So I think I want to use my medium size one again. We want it to be kind of like whitey. I think we use white to do it and then we can add more to it. <laughs> All right. So it'll be thinner on, so it's, Okay. It's going to come this way. to come to like a point. Okay. 
Okay. So let's go and fill this in. I'm just going to put white to start. Oh, my paint's still wet, so I'm trying not to touch my canvas, which I tend to do when I should not. Okay, so we have that, and it's it can I kind of like that I can kind of see the sky behind it. I like that a lot. I want to do the top too. Mm-hmm. I don't want to do the side as well. Okay. Okay, but I do want the lines of this pull to feel like it's pulling. I want them to come, the paint to come down. So if I see this, if you can see your strokes of your brush, you want to make it look like it's like almost like fabric pulling. So you could see they're going to be going in like this direction, you know? Yeah. You have some weirdly going to it the side, like that's not going to make sense. There we go. Okay. Oh, I got some blurriness going on. Okay, let's reconnect. There you go. Hopefully that helped. There you go. Okay, perfect. You'll notice there's like a weird kind of look here, and that's because the canvas itself um, is kind of crappy. Um, <laughs> so that's why that's happening. I didn't do that on purpose. That's just um, a weird uh, defect in the canvas itself. Okay, so we have like the way that this is going to be awesome. Okay, and so now we need to decide what is pulling this. What what's pulling it? So like in my reference image that I'm looking at, um, that again is like it's it's not my own image. It's like at someone's copy. So I've changed many elements so far with the colors and the way the clouds look and whatnot. Um, and that's why I'm not showing it, so I don't have rights to that. Um, it has like a, it, it's like a, a figure, like a, a person on a ladder, and they're holding, I don't even know what it looks like. Maybe it's just their hand, to be honest. Um, and they're kind of holding and they're pulling it. Um, so we could do something like that. Um, maybe whoever we have pulling is like hanging like maybe they're holding on to it but they're like hanging off instead of like like almost like they're floating like they're hmm. let's see okay well, what we can do still is let's put in some more detail on this like fabricy piece and maybe we'll do some more there and then we'll come back and think about what we want to do with that specifically okay so I want to put in a bit of an outline um, on my piece of like fabric that's coming off here so I'm going to grab the brush that I have the most control over I'm gonna have to kind of looks like a an underwear of some sort. Um,
Mm, Okay, so a nice edge like that. Um, <laughs> okay, and then oh, you can still see the behind it. Let's change that up. Put a few lines in to show how it's I don't know about that. Okay, I need to get more white. I feel like that's not looking the way I want it to look. I think that looks good. So I just added a little bit of gray in there. And then um, initially I put some streaks. I didn't like the way the streaks looked. So then I just went over it with white and then just softened it. And I think that looks much better. It almost looks like a cartoon page or something. So I like am digging the way that is looking. Okay. So I think I would like to put in like a moon or I don't know, maybe like a planet. I don't know spaceship that'd be kind of cute eh? and put like a little like spaceship wee, in there maybe we'll just keep it keep it simple and just do like a little moon but feel free to change it up how you would love so I'm going to get some white paint um and I'm going to just do a circle make it a little small Make it always smaller than my what I would want it to be. Maybe I will make it a planet. I don't know yet. We'll put a few little ones. You know what? Yeah, let's do that. Got one there. Let's put another one like here. Just a little bit bigger. I like that idea. Yes, and then maybe one here, like small. Okay, and I think we should have some different colors. So I do want to have maybe, um, maybe like this one in the front. Maybe we'll make that one kind of purplish. Purpley elements to it. Some little, OK, 
Okay, let's get some blue. Purple and blue planet. Let's get some white. Okay, that's pretty cute. All right, and then maybe we'll do like a reddish planet over here. Okay. Okay, maybe that one's the one we're going to give some rings to, but let's do a little planet in the background first. Um, I kind of want them to be green, so let's mix some yellow and blue together, and I'm going to make him a little green planet. That, how adorbs, a little bit of yellowish. Oh, so cute. Okay, so let's do like a ring maybe on one of them. I think I want to go back to this one because I feel the most control with that brush. Okay, so um, I'm feeling it to kind of go this way. Um, let's go with white and then we can change it up. So I'm thinking the ring will go like this. There we go. Perfect. Oh, so cute. I love that little one. Oh my goodness. Yes. Beautiful. Okay. Um, I am going to do like almost like there's little moons around that guy. Maybe this one has like a moon or something here. Yeah, that's cute. Yes. adorable so cute okay so I think I'm happy with my you know space kind of happening over there and then I need to figure out what we're gonna do here so we could again we could change it up we could have them what should we have them? I, I do like I like the latter idea I feel like the lad looks kind of weird just floating out of nowhere like from the um, inspirational image um maybe it's a tree and the person is on the tree like on a limb grabbing it 
that's kind of cool. I kind of like the idea of a tree. Um, hmm. I think I want to put the person in first and then place whatever they're on from there. <laughs> but I'm a little apprehensive, so I don't want to mess it up. Okay, so the person's holding it here with their hand. Their other hand has to be holding on to whatever they're on, and their legs would be off, right? So I think, okay, let's start placing the person. Okay, so I'm going to do them. It's very simplistic, but I'm going to do like a head. So a circle I think will be here. How far away? Well, the arm will be here. So let's say, let's, maybe we'll do a hand first. Okay. So, so holding it and then we have the arm coming down. We have an elbow, right? And then the person's body would be here. Maybe it's a robot. <laughs> I don't know. No. Okay. We can thicken them up afterwards. And then they'll have then they're gonna be looking up for the neck, but then their face is gonna be tilted up. Very robotic, yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we can give them a little nose. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like the man in the cloud right now. <laughs> I should have made it a Care Bear doing it. Okay. Um. Okay, let's just. Thicken that up a little bit. Okay, do I want the person to have hair or a cap or what? I have no idea. Okay. But then we need to put the rest of the body, and I'm a little bit apprehensive to do that. Okay, so what are we going to do? We have a person holding that. I think they should be holding on and have a tree here, like out of nowhere, which doesn't really make much sense, but I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's do it. Let's try it. Okay, so we got black. So let's give a nice sturdy tree here. Okay. And we can add more trees too afterwards if we think the one looks weird. I mean, the whole painting's kind of weird. So I'm like okay with it being weird personally. There's like a nice thick branch. Adding some bristle, bristles? No, branches perhaps is what I was trying to say. Ooh -wee -ooh -wee.
Okay. So now if we have that, now we can give him or her, whoever we want this to be, we can put a body here. It's like a leg. And maybe this leg is up. Whoa, that's weird. Okay. That's not the way a leg goes. Okay, we're making that into a branch. That looks weird. His foot will go this way. Hmm. Well, maybe we just have his legs come down. The weird thing about trees is the branches can be anywhere. That's awesome. So it's kind of just holding on to that. Looks like a very big man here. So let's just bulk him up a little bit. So I'm figuring out if it's going to be a guy or a girl, but I don't think it really matters. It's just our, our human figure. Let's put some more branches. Maybe he's a part of the tree. I don't know. And then maybe we have the letter up against here. Um, how would it look though? I guess we would have it on the side. Hmm, I don't know. A little bigger. Okay, I think we got that. Looks kind of cool. And then maybe we have another tree here. Maybe not as tall.
है I'm just going to put some more kind of like branches sticking out of here. There's a bunch of trees. This person has climbed a tree and is pulling at the fabric of our reality. Amazing. Okay. Now, do you want to do anything else to this dude? I'm not sure. Like, I kind of don't know if I want to keep him. A, I want. I don't know if I want to have him with long hair. I kind of want to put a hat on him. I'm not really sure. Like, he's... Like, who is he? I don't know. I want to give him a little bit of a... A little foot. More like funky shoes. And then. longer hair on them like that sure longer hair sounds good kind of funky like that cool um and i think i'm pretty much complete i'm just gonna go with my white paint and then just put a little bit of highlight on this person and on the tree a little bit on some of these Okay, I think that's good. All right, I think that's our kind of funky painting for today. Kind of weird, kind of funky. Hope you all enjoy that one. And uh, I hope you paint with me again soon. If you did paint along to this, um, please take a picture of your painting and post it on the Lisa's, on Lisa's Painting Parties page on Facebook. I'd love to see it. Tag me in it. That'd be great. Um, and um, I'll see you all next month for our next painting party. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.